Crossing now to Middlemore Hospital and the latest on the eruption victims. I'm the Chief Executive of County's Medical District Health Board, um, which hosts, runs the National Burn Service. Um, I'd like, I will in a minute introduce Dr Peter Watson, Chief Medical Officer, who will um, speak on behalf of the DHB. And I'd also like to acknowledge Dr John Keneally, who is here. He is the Clinical Director for Surgical Services and Burns and is a plastic surgeon and Dr Vanessa Thornton, who is the um, Clinical Director for Emergency Care and is an emergency physician um, who will be here to answer some questions. Um, before I hand over to Peter, I would like to acknowledge that um, all the clinicians and the health professionals who have responded to this incident, um, we have seen, as we would expect, a pragmatism, a professionalism and a collaboration across the health system that New Zealanders can be very proud of. I'd now like to um, invite Dr. Peter Watson. Um, can we just um, move forward a bit so the projector light isn't halfway across your face? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Ray. Thank you very much. Uh, kia ora koutou. We are now just over 48 hours since the volcanic eruption at White Island. Sadly, as you are aware, one person died here at Middlemore Hospital overnight. At this point in time, 29 patients continue to receive care in New Zealand's intensive care and burns units in Middlemore, Waikato, Hutt Valley and Christchurch hospitals. One Australian patient will be transported from Wellington by a New Zealand specialist air ambulance to Australia this evening. It is likely that more Australians will be transported home by the Australian Defence Force in an intensive care capable aircraft in the next 24 to 48 hours. This is to enable ongoing treatment of these patients closer to home and their family and support networks. Of course, this is dependent on patients' clinical conditions and clinicians on both sides of the Tasman are working closely together in making these repatriation decisions. 22 of our burns patients remain on airway support due to the severity of their burns and um, other injuries. The National Burns Unit here at Middlemore is providing national leadership to the National Burns Service in coordinating the provision of care and supplies to the other hospitals, Waikato, Hutt Valley and Christchurch. We currently have supply but are urgently sourcing additional supplies to meet the demand for dressing and temporary skin grafts. We anticipate we will require an, an additional 1.2 million square centimetres of skin for the ongoing needs of the patients. These supplies are coming from the United States and the order has been placed. The nature of the burns suffered is complicated by the gases and chemicals in the eruption. This has necessitated more rapid surgical treatment of, the, the, of these burns than is the usual case for thermal only burns. As such, our surgical teams, led by John, have been working around the clock, non-stop, to expedite the initial surgical treatment of the patients. This is just the start of a very long process that for some patients will last several months. We're working closely with the Police, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade and Victim to Support, who have now located here to Middlemore Hospital to ensure a joined up and coordinated support for patients and their families. We want to acknowledge and thank the tremendous effort uh, provided by hospital intensivists, surgeons, nurses, anaesthetists and many others across the country who have worked tirelessly and will continue to do so over the coming days and weeks and even months ahead. We would also like to take this opportunity to thank our Australian counterparts for their willingness to support and assist us in this emergency and in supporting the early return to Australian citizens. Thank you. Happy to take questions. Just run through that range of burns that some people have down from the minor to the major. How bad is it? Sure. So I'll, I'll hand over to John. But um, the majority, as I said yesterday, 27 of these uh, patients are eligible for admission to our burns units. That means they are suffering very severe um, burns. There are a couple um, with less severe, but the majority are very severe. We've heard it talked about in terms of percentages of people's bodies being burned. Yep. Um, so th the criteria for entry to the burns units is greater than 30%, but also taking into other uh, conditions and age, etc. 
Pete, you say you said that the workload that came in just yesterday was equivalent to what they've seen a year, but there's only four of them here, so does that mean they're yeah. all so, quite so, severe? So one of the things we've achieved today, which I think is really important, is we've taken the other outlying patients who are in uh, Tauranga in an Auckland hospital and now they are all in the Burns units. So currently now we have 11 in the National Burns unit here at Middlemore. There are eight in Christchurch, four in Hutt Valley and six in Waikato and given the one additional person who's flying from Wellington tonight, there will be 29 we expect tomorrow, all in our Burns units now and that's been a major achievement. Are these patients, have any been identified yet or are they still no, we, we know all bar a couple of them, um, but yeah, no, we've, we've almost completed the full identification of all of the patients now in our hospitals. When you say the double I think there was one person who we were still clarifying, but some of these details need to be clarified just to be sure. Was the identification limited by people's burns were so bad you couldn't tell what they looked like? No, the major issue was that they didn't have any identification on them, <laughs> so we couldn't tell. And also because of the severity of their burns, they were undergoing treatment. So many were in theatre, anaesthetised and sedated. So that's been the issue. Can you compare this to any other medical emergency you've had to deal with? How does it compare? So and I'll, I'll ask John to comment on that in terms of burns, but certainly you know, the health system is set up to manage disasters and emergencies and just as we've seen in other parts of the country um, the health system is equipped to respond to this but in terms of the size of um, uh, volcanic eruptions and burns as I understand it John um, this, these are very unusual events. They're incredibly unusual events. But surely you don't usually have to order 1.2 million and that was Dr Peter Watson, the Chief Medical Officer there. There's, that was from the press conference at Middlemore Hospital, which is where the National Burns Centre is located. We'll bring you further updates throughout the programme.